You're out of time. You have had your hour. And yes, I know you're still there, Lieutenant. And yes, you too, the ever-faithful Clint. But as always, Victoria, the decision is yours. No, you're wrong, Mitch. The final decision is mine. Jessica, is that you? That's right. And I know what you want. And the answer is yes. You can have me as soon as you tell us where Natalie is. Give her back and I'm yours. Yeah, when... There is no way in hell that we're trading Jessica to Mitch. Let's do it. No, Jessica, you cannot do this! If I don't, then Mitch will kill Natalie. And what's he going to do to you? He won't get a chance. Is that a hope or a promise? I promise I'm bringing both your daughters home safe. Jessica is on her way here. I'll finally be able to give her a proper baptism into my church. Jessica will never go with you! I think my daughter knows her scripture. Let's see, how does it go? Honor your father so that you may live long in the land the Lord your God has given you. You're not her father. She will obey me. If she wants her sister to live. In other news, you can only bring Natalie and me home safe if you bring me with you as Pete. You do what I say. Sure, no, yes. Not, not sure. All right, it's got to be yes, all right? You do what I say and only what I say. No, I'm going to do my own thing and try to save the day. Understood? Understood. Good. Let's get going. Please, please, please listen to John. And be careful. I promise, okay? Honey, we love you so much. I love you, too. Listen, in an hour, this will all be over, and I'll bring Natalie home. Okay? Okay. You ready? Yes, let's go. Bye, Jessie. Go ahead. Bye. See you soon. Thank John. You. you take care of her. Oh, God, please, please, please keep our girls safe. You're so obsessed with Jessica when you've got me right here. Hmm. You're a bargaining chip. Well, I, I can be so much more than that. Can you now? Yeah, I mean, why would you want Jessica? I mean, when she's been crazy for the past couple of years. Well, she didn't fragment after our time together. Really? After you almost raped her? Yeah, she um, thought she was 17 years old for months. It was prophesized that I would have another heir. But I misread the signs. But the prophecy still stands. I will have another heir. Mm. Yes. The Lord has shown me the way. The mother of my son before me. What? It's you, Natalie. Oh. John McBain is not going to let things get out of hand. Oh, Clint, for heaven's sake, with Mitch Lawrence, things are always out of control. Where's Jessica? Was the front door just standing open? I'm sorry, I heard about the breakout at Statesville in the news. Is everybody okay? Yes, we're fine. Where does Jessica know that Mitch escaped? She's heard. Well, where is she? Is she upstairs? No, no. She didn't take Ryder anywhere, did she? I mean, she, she wouldn't do that, not with Mitch on the loose, right? We should tell him. Uh, okay, Jessica is uh, not home. Well, why not? Where is she? Does Mitch have her? No, Mitch doesn't have her. Mitch has Natalie. You know, when I first returned to Landview, I chose you for my mate. And you, Natalie, fell in love with me. I never loved you. Well, believe me, honey, you would have if we'd been able to consummate our marriage as husband and wife should. If you so much 
what a breeze. In one direction, I swear to God, I will tell you. Oh, I love that feistiness. <laughs> oh, yeah, kick. You'll be kicking, all right. I love that fire in you, girl. You know what? I believe our children will have that fire one day. I think John will be here soon. Yes. I wish we could take our time, but uh, I promise you, my lovely, I will make sure <laughs> that you enjoy yourself. Relax. Sit down. Do the cops know that Mitch has Natalie? How do you know? Well, Mitch called us on Natalie's cell phone. McBain's on his way to St. Emmanuel to get her back. With backup, right? Not yet. Well, why not? Does John think that Mitchell just hand Natalie over? Ford, why don't you sit Quick, down? Hang on a second. What aren't you telling me? Mitch said that he would give Natalie back to us if somebody else took her place. So funny. Jessica? No, no, no. How can you just hand her over? Ford, there is no way we will just hand over our daughter. I mean, where is she? She went with John to lure Mitch into giving Natalie back. This isn't happening. Afraid it is, son. They're on their way. How could you let her anywhere near that psycho? She's not going to be anywhere near him. He's not going to get close to her. Right. Hey, oh, hold on. I'm not just no, going to sit around here and Four, let you go. don't you go there. I'm Natalie. Can you calm down? You're about to get the greatest gift God ever gave you. You're about to kill me first. Uh, once you've given birth to our child, I will be every yes. two of us. <laughs> I wouldn't be gentle, my dear, but if all you understand is force. Yes! If Vicky wasn't able to stop him, I don't. He took off. I couldn't catch him. And she couldn't, so this is a heads up for you, John. You can expect Ford to come busting in there. All right, you call us when both of our daughters are safe, okay? Good luck. What, voicemail? Yeah. John's probably in the church by now, but I had to try. Oh, my God. Look. Oh, God. A spokesman for Statesville Prison has just confirmed that cultist, kidnapper, and murderer Allison Perkins is among the inmates who escaped in tonight's prison break. I hate that picture. Oh, it really doesn't do me justice. That is so sweet. But hold it right there, partner. You think I don't have enough bullets to hit both you and the Lady Lord? Allison, get out of my house! I have to say, Vicky, I'm impressed. That was forceful. Too bad I don't take orders anymore from anyone. Please, you're Mitch's tool. Not since my revelation. Want to hear it? No. We don't give a damn. It wasn't really my revelation. It was more like Oprah's. She said the most amazing thing. Never give your power up to another person. And I decided she was right, which is why you should put that phone down, Clint. Where was I? Oh, yeah. The revelation. I realized so many bad things had happened to me because I had put my faith in someone else. Like you mentioned, Vicky, Mitch has a way with words. But in the end, where did it get me? And I'm afraid I made the same mistake with Dave. <laughs> Excuse me, Ben and his sweet nothings. So why are you here now, doing Mitch's bidding? Wrong again as usual. I arranged tonight's early release program. You set up the breakup? All by my lonesome, which is more than Mitch could do, the big dummy. He's nothing without his best disciple, Allison. I can't wait to see how that flim flammer mucks things up without me. We had a deal, detective. Where is Jessica? Don't let her come in here, John. Give me my daughter now. Boy, if I don't get Jessica. I'm here, father. Let Natalie go. It's 
It's amazing how much I let myself do the dirty work with no credit. Want to drive Vicky crazy? Call Allison. Need a baby switched? Allison will do it. Want somebody dead? I'm sure Allison's not busy. She'd be happy to. Hello, don't even think about reaching for that phone. Are you so easily bored? I told you these are revelations, and not many people get the chance to hear real ones. Allison, we're very, very worried about our daughters. Do, do you know what Mitch is? I know all about your daughters. Your daughters, not his. At least Jessica isn't Clint's. Just slutty mix, slut, slut. You're more beautiful than ever, Jessica. Come to your father. Just don't. Let Allie go. When she's over here safe and sound, I'll send Jessica to you. You're not in charge here, McBain. Send her now, and then you can have your slattern back. Just no! Your precious girls, slutty and cuckoo, twin sisters by different misters. Mitch was so determined to have a child with you. Why was that anyway, Vicky? It wasn't the gene pool or the mental health history. Allison, what do you want? Am I boring you? This is your favorite subject. You. You and your miracle twins. One mom, two different dads. One is Clint's and one is Mitch's. What are the odds? It almost defies reason. It's practically impossible. What do you mean? What are you saying? I'm here. Okay. But you have to let Natalie go. Sam! You okay, buddy? I'm fine. Allison, you want to tell us something. And we want to hear it. Oh, so now you're interested? It sounds as, as if you want to tell us something about Jessica and Natalie. Is that how it sounded? Allison, for God's sakes, just spit it out. Wh wh what are you trying to say about our daughters? Please, Mother. Jessica, no. I could never refuse a loving daughter. You, I will see again soon. <laughs> it's time to gather the flock. Forget it. You blew it. Not gonna do it. Besides, I'm not here to give you a history lesson. But you came to give us something, didn't you? An ending. <laughs> Whoever offends her father shall be put to death. No! You can't shoot Jess! Goodbye, Clint. Bye, Vicky. It's been real. Uh, get out!